Okay, I've decided to do a couple of videos that I'm sure exist out there somewhere, but I haven't been able to find them uh, regarding these uh, this SMA Sunny Islands on the uh, DC solar trailers. And so uh, the video that I'm going to do is uh, showing uh, how to commission the battery current sensor. Uh, if that isn't done, uh, you will get you can get some uh, strange uh, readings and you can get an incorrect uh, state of charge on your batteries. And uh, so if some of you are experiencing that, it could be because you haven't commissioned the battery current sensor. Um, and so on page uh, 73 of the SMA Sunny Island Manual, uh, you'll find the instructions for this. And uh, one thing that is not in the instructions is that the, uh, mid the Midnight Classic needs to be turned off. Uh, that was uh, information uh, gleaned from uh, tech support at SMA. And so the, uh, first, uh, the first step is to set the uh, Sunny Island into uh, standby mode. So we'll do that by coming over here. And it is now in standby mode. And then we're now going to turn off the Midnight Classic. And step two is to short circuit the battery current sensor conductors and it's got a little diagram there for that. Um, on the trailers that I've seen so far, uh, the, uh, the battery current sensor is inside of this box, and so you need to uh, remove with an Allen wrench uh, those two screws right there. Uh, with those two screws removed, you can remove the plate, and you will see inside the black and the red wire connected with a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to disconnect the black one and then uh, connect it over to the red one because those need to be shorted. There you can see the red and the black uh, shorted together and uh, you can see the loosened uh, flathead screws and uh, now that those are shorted together uh, I'm going to br uh, stick it back under one of those screws so that it matches the diagram. And you can see that now connected uh, just like it is in the diagram. And so uh, we'll then move on to uh, step three, uh, which is uh, we need to enter the installer password. Uh, we go to the installer password by going to uh, settings and then going all the way down to uh, 280 and uh, the password is of course the number of hours all added up so in this case uh, it adds up to 20 so we'll go enter in 20 as our password We'll now move on to step four, which is to uh, set uh, these uh, following parameters. So the uh, first one is to go to menu item 225.01. So we'll go up to 220, then go to, to 225. And 0.01, it currently says none. So we need to put that on the I believe it's the 60 millivolt, um, but let me double check that. I'm actually not positive which one it is at the moment. It's either the 50 or the 60 millivolt. Uh, so for for the purposes of this video, we're just going to go ahead and select the uh, 60 millivolt. 
and uh, and on item number two here uh, we're going to uh, leave it at the default of 100 amps uh, I also am not positive if that's a uh, the ideal setting but uh, moving on to uh, instruction item number five and number six uh, we're gonna go ahead and start the automatic calibration so that's menu item number four hit start and then yes it goes ahead and uh, does the calibration and then we want to check and uh, instruction number seven check the offset error so we'll do that by going to menu item 120 and it's 120.06 so let's go down to menu item number six and we have a total battery current of zero which is uh, it's supposed to be zero or close to zero so that's good menu item number eight is to go ahead and reconnect uh, the conductors on the battery sensor uh, back to how they were so we'll go ahead and uh, disconnect from there and put the red on the left and the black on the right okay with those uh, now reconnected, we can go to uh, instruction number nine, which is to start the sunny island. Uh, so we will uh, turn on our midnight classic first, and then go ahead and turn on And we're going to go to, uh, finally, to step number 10, which is to check the current direction uh, back in 120.06. And we have... basically zero, uh, which is a good thing. Go ahead and put your cover and your screws back on and uh, that basically covers commissioning the battery current sensor. It was uh, something that the SMA tech support guys said was pretty important to, to do and uh, so they said just follow those directions and that that would uh, help uh, quite a bit in uh, monitoring the batteries.